really starts with the musicians. And my job is to capture them in as pure a manner as possible. I've been wanting to record a CD of a lot of the music that I grew up studying and listening to as a youngster in college and even before that. And that is the music of Charlie Parker and Bud Powell, Dizzy Gillespie, John Coltrane. This is the music that built jazz. It, the bebop revolution happened around those jazz masters. For recording Mark's uh, CD, this was our first chance to use the Symphony I.O. mic preamps. And here in our studio, we've got uh, a beautiful Neve console, and I thought I might use a few mic preamps, a few of the Neves, and in the end, I used all Symphony I.O. mic pre's. Vibes are, are, are kind of uh, infamous for being really difficult to record because they're so peaky, um, and if you have any sort of harshness, uh, you'll get a real thin sound. With this recording, uh, we did a, a very simple miking setup. I pushed up the faders, and the sound was beautiful. Uh, there is absolutely no processing on the vibes at all, uh, from recording during, and even during the mix. Uh, and Mark mentioned at how beautifully the vibes uh, integrate into the mix, but are still very precise. Um, and I really think that's unique to these mic preamps. So not only uh, the Symphony mic preamps, first of all, sound fabulous, but the fact that they're integrated into the converter, uh, you get really distinct advantages. For example, the noise level is non-existent. Everyone noticed when the music stopped, just absolutely no noise. Also, the fact that they are remote controlled, the mic pre's, means that on my Pro Tools screen, I've got uh, Maestro open and all my mic pre-controls right there uh, in front of me. So when you see the Symphony I.O. mic preamp, the first question you might have is, okay, where do I connect the mics? And in fact, the mics get connected to the analog in of the module that's underneath the mic pre. Um, that has some really distinct advantages. One, we can add inserts onto the actual mic pre. We have enough uh, panel space to do that. But it also means I can switch the Symphony I.O. input between line and direct mic. So if I wanted to use a, a Neve mic preamp, I could have switched it over to line input very easily without recabling. It really captures the real authentic sound, the, the, the real sound of the vibes, the real sound of the B3. Um, sonically, it's perfect. Let's say if you've got transformer-based uh, preamps, uh, sometimes they can take a little bit of detail off of vibes. Um, and that can be a good thing. In this case, Mark was the leader, and so it was really important that those vibes just had the perfect combination of a really warm and 3D sound, uh, but also very precise. And I feel like Symphony I.O. did that better than the Neve would have done it. Thank you.